Hey ladies, there's several things that I wanted to share with you today, so I'm going to real quickly just tell you these things. I was starting to see in the email, I thought it'd be easier just to tell you. I just want to encourage you leaders, as you are walking with your ladies, I just want to share with you that week nine can be difficult, and so I just want you to be encouraged that um, at this point, um, you know, we love to be in control and we love to um, feel like we know what's going on, but by week nine, we understand that we cannot do this on our own, that we need help from others and we need help from God. And so I just want to encourage you a couple of things. One is the Bible reading. The women are um, just got through with Leviticus and now they're starting Hebrews if you're if that's where you're at. But um, keep in mind that in Exodus and Leviticus, we see that God definitely is a God of order and he called us to make disciples to help people develop discipline in their life. And so we see that God is a God of discipline and order, and he wants things done a certain way. But then sandwiched between Leviticus and Numbers, you find Hebrews. And in Hebrews, we did, there's this shout out, this big cheer for Jesus. And thank God for Jesus and him coming so that we can go straight to God and we can, um, and for our salvation, how excited we are for our salvation. But that being said, he gives us freedom, but not freedom to do whatever we want, not freedom to have, to be comfortable, to just live however we want. He wants still to have discipline in his life. He is a God of discipline. He is a God of order. So really encourage your women in that. At this point, the women of valor is the vehicle they've chosen. I think of it like this little white Volkswagen with women of valor decals on the, on the sides. It's not the only way to take this journey. It's not the only way to get closer to God, but it is the way that they've chosen. So encourage those ladies that there are nine months and there's nine tools and we want to get in that vehicle. We want to be this. We're going to do this thing. Put both feet in the car, buckle your seatbelt, face forward, position yourself to doing all God's called you to do. Now that doesn't mean that's easy. At this point, when you look over these nine tools, you're finding the ones that are the hardest for you, just like it was before when you were trying to grow in the Lord by yourself. And so I'm going to email you the nine tools for nine months. And what I've done is put the five that they could do alone all by themselves, just them and God, and then the four that take others. And so all nine of, their, their, of them are important. They were put in there for a purpose and a reason. So encourage them that each one of those, even the ones that aren't comfortable, maybe they don't even understand the full reason why that tool is important, <clears throat> help them to stay in the process, to trust the process like we've talked about before. <coughs> Excuse me. And so to keep going on this and how important it is. You know, I was reading, and um, I sent you an email earlier, and I just want to read this to you again Matthew 9, um, uh, 16 says, No one says a patch of unstrung cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. Neither do people pour new wineskins into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. And so we encourage these girls. God's doing a new thing. He's growing them in a new way. This is new for all of us. God's doing something new. We can't go back to what we feel comfortable with or what we understand or what feels the best and expect expect our wineskin not to burst and to lose the, the traction that God's given us so far. So d encourage them, do not grow weary in doing good, but even if you don't fully understand it, it's new, grab onto it and keep going with it. And I believe that's what this scripture is saying to us. So I just want to encourage you to um, encourage your gals. Also, as leaders, just remember, People are at different places in their spiritual maturity. Ask God to give you eyes to see them at the place where they are. They may need you to help walk them through this faith process. A lot of our women, again, I think I said this um, before, but they are really are counting on what they can see and what they can understand and what they can figure out and what's most comfortable for them. But God's asking them to take a step of faith. He's asking them to step on the edge, be on the edge of a cliff, step out into the unknown and trust him that the parachute's going to come out, that what he says in his word he's going to do. So I'm, I'm going to pray over you and I want you to pray over your girls, that you'll have eyes to see them, see where they're at in the process, where can you link arms with them and help them walk forward 
we I just I I'm, I'm just passionate about them staying with it. We've really gotten past the basics and we're going to go into prayer. God's going to begin to woo them into an intimate relationship with him. Then we get into forgiveness. And I'm telling you, ladies, in the forgiveness, there's going to be a piece where um, God's going to read their book. And many of them are struggling with their relationship with God because unforgiveness is getting in the way. And once they get past that, the Holy Spirit begins to speak to their hearts and they begin to let go of some of those areas of offense and unforgiveness. The, the door is going to be wide open. Windows of heaven are going to pour out on them. So keep, keep um, working with them and helping them move forward. <clears throat> it's just like little children. We have to hold them as they're walking, but pretty soon they begin walking by themselves. Put those, those older, more mature girls on those spiritual bicycles and run alongside them, and pretty soon you're going to let go, and they're going to be going. And so hang with it, leaders. Spend some time with them. Encourage your leaders. Um, we want to keep them in. We want to keep them in the vehicle and and encourage them to get both feet in the vehicle, to go for this. They got this. So um, be encouraged and and have them keep reading the word. It's just going to get better and better. And we know that and we can do this. So have a great Wednesday. Talk to you later.